There's Voyager crossing over into interstellar space. It's the farthest thing we've ever sent anywhere. From the depths of space to Earth, a probe we thought was silent for years has suddenly come back to life. What message did it receive from so far away? You see, in the late 1970s, NASA sent Voyager 1 into space to learn more about planets far from Earth, like the immense volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io or the controversial rings around Saturn. Now Voyager 1 is more than 14.9 billion miles away from Earth and is in a part of space between the stars, known as interstellar space. Join us as we decode one of the most alarming messages from outer space. What was really behind Voyager 1's long trip? Back in the day when countries all over the world were trying really hard to be the best at exploring space, NASA decided to do something really bold. They sent Voyager 1 into space. This little robot spaceship went farther into space than anyone or anything from Earth had ever gone before. It was like stepping out of our backyard into the vast unknown of our neighborhood, the solar system. This trip was super special because it made us all wonder about the big questions, like why we're here and what else is out there in space. It was a big adventure that got everyone, everywhere, super excited about space. In 1977, when there was a lot of tension between countries because of the Cold War, and everyone was trying to show off how powerful they were by exploring space, sending Voyager 1 out there was like saying, hey, let's all calm down and explore space together. It was a peaceful message at a time when Earth was full of conflicts. As Voyager 1 went beyond where we had ever been, it marked a huge moment for us trying to understand more about space. It made us all stop and think about why we're so curious about the stars and what's out there. The Voyager missions, which include Voyager 1 and its brother Voyager 2, had two big goals, to discover new things and to show off our cool space technology. When Voyager 1 flew close to Jupiter and Saturn, it showed us stuff we'd never seen before, like volcanoes erupting on Io, one of Jupiter's moons, and the beautiful rings around these planets. These discoveries weren't just cool, they showed how much we love to learn, and also how much we want to be the best at exploring space. When Voyager 1 got close to Jupiter in 1979, and then Saturn in 1980, before Voyager 2 did, it was a big deal. It showed how clever we can be and how much we want to learn about space. The pictures and data it sent back changed how we see the solar system. We learned about things like Io's volcanoes, Jupiter's thin rings, new moons around Saturn, and the detailed look of Saturn's rings. This showed how much we want to know everything about space. Voyager 1 is famous not just because it taught us a lot, but also because it shows how complicated we are. This trip into space was super inspiring, but it also shows that sometimes we do things for reasons that aren't always about just wanting to learn. Voyager 1's trip keeps going and tells us a lot about what we're like, our big dreams, the things we can't do, and our never-ending wish to find out about new things. When Voyager 1 left the area around the sun that we call the heliosphere in August 2012, it was like something out of a sci-fi story. But it really happened. It was the first thing we've ever made to go into the space between the stars, and it's still going. As of 2024, this brave little spaceship is more than 14.9 billion miles away from the sun. But we can still talk to it. Keeping in touch with something so far away is amazing and shows how good we are at staying connected to even the farthest things we've sent into space. Voyager 1 has some really smart tools on it, like cameras and stuff, to measure magnetic fields, which have given us a lot of important information. We've learned a bunch about the big gas planets and seen things about their weather and magnetic stuff that we didn't know before. Voyager 1's peaceful journey through space has made us a lot smarter about the solar system and helped get us ready for even more space adventures making the huge mystery of space a little bit easier to understand, a piece from our history of space travel, challenging how we understand the universe. The quiet call for help. What should have been clear updates from the cosmos are now a jumble of zeros and ones, thanks to glitches in its flight data system, essential for sending messages across the interstellar void. Despite this, the spacecraft's persistent signals ensure us it hasn't been lost to the cosmic wilderness, Think about the wonder of it. 
a creation of the 1970s, light years away, is still operational, defying every expectation. The lag in communication is staggering, taking 22.5 hours for messages to travel, leaving NASA in suspense for nearly two days with each transmission. A remarkable display of patience and expectation that defines the essence of space exploration. Trying to fix this issue has become a curious endeavor reminiscent of a retro space adventure. Engineers are attempting to jumpstart the FDS as if it were an old car with a dead battery. However, the vast distance and the probe's primitive technology make this a prolonged and uncertain effort. This irony isn't lost on us. Voyager 1, once the pinnacle of human creativity, now serves as a mirror to our own limitations, casting a distorted signal back into the abyss. This recent glitch in Voyager 1's systems challenges us to keep its legacy alive. A dedicated team, fueled by optimism, is tackling a formidable task that could take a considerable amount of time to correct. Highlighting the intricacies of maintaining aging technology amidst ever-evolving modern standards. This predicament highlights the immense challenges of sustaining deep space missions, especially with apparatus from an earlier technological epoch. The Voyager team's unwavering resolve is a tribute to the human spirit's perpetual quest for knowledge. Despite being a product of a bygone technological age, Voyager 1 relentlessly extends the frontiers of our understanding and curiosity. Voyager 1's present difficulties and our attempts to address them represent more than mere technical hiccups. They illustrate our enduring urge to explore the unknown, our continuous search for knowledge, and our steadfast dedication to the pursuit of discovery unaffected by the toll of time and space. Navigating Voyager 1's glitches is a stark reminder. In the quest to reach the stars, the line between triumph and setback is razor thin. How did a tech issue end Voyager's journey? How did a tech issue end Voyager's journey? Solving every issue is a win, keeping planes flying safely and saving lives. It's not just about fixing what's wrong, it's about always being on the lookout and ready to act, especially up high in the sky. Being careful and paying attention to the little things can mean the difference between a safe flight and a serious accident. It's really important to know and fix problems with the flight data system because they can make flying unsafe. Even tiny issues can turn into big ones, making planes unable to fly. This is why it's crucial to constantly check and take care of the planes. Trying to figure out and solve complex problems with our modern planes from the ground is kind of ironic. We depend a lot on flight data analysis. FDA, and Safety Management Systems, SMS, to keep everything safe. These systems go through flight data to spot possible issues before they happen. But doing this job needs skills that almost seem like being able to see the future, as it really tests our trust in technology. The goal of the aviation industry is to be as safe as possible, but events like the Ariane 5 Flight 501 disaster remind us to not be too sure of ourselves and to always do thorough checks. This incident showed us that a small mistake in software can lead to big problems. The reaction was to ask for better testing and backup systems, which tells us how hard it is to be completely safe. We find ourselves in a tricky situation, relying on technology to keep us safe, but knowing it can let us down. The quest for perfect safety in the air is an ongoing struggle, trying to balance technological advances with the fact that people can make mistakes. We need to remember past lessons to travel safely. In aviation, where mistakes can have big consequences, making sure that flight systems work perfectly is a top priority. We aim to foresee issues before they happen. As technology gets better, our methods to predict and prevent problems have become more complex. This is about more than just keeping planes working. It's about building an unbeatable system where computer programs predict issues based on past events. Remembering failures like the Ariane 5s reminds us to learn from the past to avoid repeating mistakes. Be at the forefront of flight safety. Your insights could lead to perfectly safe flights. Look at the data, understand the signs, and be part of the ongoing effort to keep our skies safe. Share your views and contribute to a safer future in flying. Voyager 1's trip started in 1977, a time when exploring space was becoming very exciting. Since then, it has gone beyond our solar system, 
reaching places no other man-made object has before. This explorer has become a symbol of space travel, a seasoned traveler of the stars that carries the marks of its journey through space. Even with the challenges of time and space, it keeps talking to us, sending back signals that take more than 22 hours to reach Earth, telling us stories of the universe. At its launch, Voyager 1's technology was the best of its time. It was built to last and to adjust to new situations. When its main thrusters started to have problems after many years, the team on Earth turned on its backup thrusters, which had been off for 37 years, and they worked as if they had just been waiting to be used again. The programming languages used for Voyager 1's software, first Fortran and then C, were the popular ones then. They set Voyager 1 up for a successful long journey. Even though they are old, these languages still let Voyager 1 follow commands on its own in the quiet of space. Voyager 1's ability to keep going reflects the hard work of the engineers who look after it. They are like distant caregivers, figuring out solutions and developing new ideas from millions of miles away. When there's a problem, like when its data system stopped working in late 2023, these dedicated workers find ways to fix or work around the issue, making sure Voyager 1's mission keeps going. Voyager 1's story is about human dreams and the progress of technology. It has given us amazing views and information, from the fiery eruptions on Io to the beautiful rings of Saturn. These discoveries have taught us a lot and sparked our imagination, giving us a peek into the active worlds that are our neighbors. Voyager 1's discoveries whisper of humanity's quest to understand the cosmos, and it's not the only one. The Voyager 1 and its stellar rivals to truly understand the significant impact of Voyager 1, it's important to see how it stands out when compared to other space explorers. Voyager 2, which is Voyager 1's sibling, set off in 1977 and took a different route. Its mission was to get a closer look at Uranus and Neptune, providing us with the very first detailed glimpses of these far-off worlds. The path Voyager 2 took complements the journey of Voyager 1. Together, they give us a full and detailed view of what lies in the outer parts of our solar system. Before the famous Voyager space missions that gave us incredible views and knowledge of the outer planets, there were the Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 missions. Launched in the early 1970s, these spacecraft were the first to venture far into our solar system to study the giant planets Jupiter and Saturn. Although they were not equipped with tools as advanced as those on the Voyager spacecraft, Pioneer 10 and 11 played a crucial role in our exploration of space. Pioneer 10, lifting off on March 2, 1972, was a trailblazer in true sense. It was the first spacecraft to fly past Jupiter, providing humanity with its first close-up views of the giant planet in December 1973. Pioneer 10's journey through space was historic, marking the first time a human-made object had passed through the asteroid belt and ventured so far from Earth. Its instruments, though limited compared to later missions, collected valuable data on Jupiter's atmosphere, magnetic field, and moons. It sent back detailed images of Jupiter and its moons, revealing features such as the Great Red Spot and the planet's polar regions in greater detail than ever before. Pioneer 11 followed its sibling into the cosmos, launching on April 6, 1973. This spacecraft's mission expanded on the achievements of Pioneer 10 by being the first to encounter Saturn, in addition to Jupiter. Flying closer to Jupiter than its predecessor, Pioneer 11 used the giant planet's gravity to alter its course towards Saturn, providing unprecedented images and data of both planets and their moons. Its closest approach to Saturn in September 1979 gave us our first close-up images of the ringed planet, its rings, and moons. Pioneer 11's instruments also made significant discoveries, such as finding two new moons of Saturn and an additional ring, as well as exploring the magnetic fields and radiation belts of these giant planets. Both Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 carried plaques intended as messages to any extraterrestrial life forms that might encounter the spacecraft, detailing the origin of the probes and providing information about the human species. These missions laid the groundwork for the Voyager missions and expanded our understanding of the outer solar system. The data and images collected by Pioneer 10 and 11 were revolutionary. They provided insights into the composition and structure of the gas giants, their moons, and the environmental conditions in space far beyond Earth. These missions demonstrated the feasibility of long-duration space exploration 
and the potential for discoveries beyond our planet. They paved the way for future missions, setting the stage for the more advanced Voyager spacecraft, which would further expand our knowledge of the solar system. As Pioneer 10 and 11 continued their journeys beyond the planets they explored, they ventured into space, becoming silent ambassadors of Earth on a journey into the unknown. Despite the vast distances and the eventual loss of contact with Earth, the legacy of these pioneering missions continues to inspire curiosity and the human spirit of exploration. Their journey beyond the known limits of our solar system serves as a reminder of the vastness of space and the small part we play in the cosmos. Then, there's New Horizons, which was launched much later in 2006. Its main focus was on studying Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. When it flew past Pluto in 2015, it sent back detailed images and information about Pluto's surface and its moons. These were areas that Voyager 1 didn't get to explore. Even though New Horizons is following in Voyager's footsteps in terms of exploring unknown parts of space, its mission is more focused on specific areas. By looking at Voyager 1 and comparing it with its twin Voyager 2, as well as its predecessors, Pioneer 10 and 11, and the later mission of New Horizons, we can see how each of these space missions has its unique role. They each contribute to our understanding of space in their own way. Voyager 1's mission, in particular, has given us invaluable insights into the outer solar system, complemented by the journeys of the other probes. Together, these missions have painted a vivid and detailed picture of our solar system's outer reaches, each adding its own piece to the puzzle of our universe. In 1997, the Cassini spacecraft was sent on an important mission to study Saturn like never before. It orbited Saturn and gave us lots of new information, looking closely at Saturn's complex planet, its beautiful rings, and its interesting moons, especially Titan and Enceladus. Cassini's work built on what the Voyager 1 spacecraft had briefly seen of Saturn, letting scientists learn much more about Saturn and its surroundings. Thanks to Cassini, we know a lot more about Saturn, adding to the quick look Voyager 1 had given us before. Since 2016, the Juno spacecraft has been meticulously orbiting Jupiter, committed to unraveling the mysteries of this giant planet. Juno's mission is to delve into every aspect of Jupiter, from the dynamic and stormy atmosphere that envelops it to the mysterious interior that lies beneath. This mission aims to build on the initial observations made by Voyager 1, which had provided humanity with its first close-up views of Jupiter decades ago. However, Juno's goals are more ambitious, targeting specific questions about Jupiter's composition, its gravitational and magnetic fields, and the processes that drive its spectacular atmospheric phenomena. By focusing on these targeted questions, Juno seeks to uncover the secrets hidden within and around Jupiter, offering insights that could only be dreamt of when Voyager 1 made its historic flyby. Voyager 1, a true pioneer of space exploration, is celebrated not just for the duration of its mission, but also for the incredible distance it has traveled. Its journey from exploring the planets of our solar system to becoming a messenger of the interstellar space is unparalleled. What makes Voyager 1 truly remarkable is its ability to continue communicating with Earth, sending back data from beyond the edges of our solar system. This ongoing communication provides scientists with a precious and continuous flow of information about the vast and mysterious expanse of space that lies beyond our solar neighborhood. Voyager 1's enduring mission offers a unique and invaluable perspective allowing us to learn more about the universe surrounding us. Golden Record and its Hidden Secrets Voyager 1's adventurous trip through space continues as it moves further into areas of the universe we know little about. In 2012, it made history by being the first human object to leave the heliosphere. The heliosphere is like a giant protective bubble created by the sun, filled with particles and magnetic fields that shield us from the rest of the galaxy. Once Voyager 1 left this bubble, it entered the interstellar medium, which is the stuff that fills the space between stars. This was a huge deal because it allowed scientists to get real-life information about the conditions in space far beyond our solar system, such as how dense it is, how hot or cold it is, and how the interstellar wind moves. Now, as of January 2024, Voyager 1 is more than 14 billion miles away from our planet. This distance is so incredibly large 
that it's hard to wrap your head around it. But thanks to the Deep Space Network, which is a group of huge antennas located in different parts of the world, we can still hear the faint signals Voyager 1 sends back home. These messages from so far away give us a peek into parts of space that were once only something people could guess about. Even though Voyager 1 was built in the 1970s, it's still sending back information. This is pretty amazing, especially considering the technology from back then. In 2017, the people controlling the mission did something really clever. They managed to get the spacecraft's backup thrusters working after not using them for almost 40 years. This helped to adjust its path and keep the mission going, which means we can still learn from it. But it's not all smooth sailing. Since December 2023, Voyager 1 has struggled to send back useful data. This shows just how hard it is to keep a space mission going over such long distances and time. The problems it faces remind us that even the most advanced technology has limits. Despite these challenges, Voyager 1 continues to symbolize our determination to explore further into space. A tiny piece of human technology floating in the vastness of space, carrying messages from Earth. One of the most special things about Voyager 1 is the golden record. This record is a 12-inch disc that has sounds and music from Earth, as well as greetings in many languages. It's like a message in a bottle thrown into the cosmic ocean, hoping to show other life forms, if they exist, what life on Earth is like. It represents our hope to connect with something beyond our planet. Voyager 1's impact goes beyond just gathering scientific data. It represents the bravery of human curiosity and our endless pursuit of knowledge. As it travels farther into space, it inspires us to look up at the stars and think about the mysteries of the universe and where we fit into it. The journey of Voyager 1, the information it gathers, and the existence of the Golden Record are all parts of a bigger story about humanity's desire to explore the unknown and understand the universe around us. With its message to the stars and its continued mission, Voyager 1 encourages us to think on a grand scale. It makes us imagine not just the planets and galaxies we can't see, but also the possible connections across the immense distances of space. It invites us to join in a broader discussion about what it means to exist, to discover, and to find our place in the vast expanse of the universe. And sometimes, the vast space is completely unexplored. Traveling beyond the sun, infinite horizons. The space between the stars, known as interstellar space, stretches far beyond the area influenced by our sun. This huge space might seem empty, but it's filled with a thin mix of tiny particles and various forces. Most of this material, about 70% is hydrogen, a simple element, while helium makes up another 28%. These elements were created right at the beginning of everything, in an event we call the Big Bang. There's also a small portion, about 2% of heavier elements and dust. These were made in the hearts of stars and then thrown into space when those stars exploded in massive events called supernovae. Even though these materials are spread out very thinly with about one atom in every cubic centimeter, they are incredibly important. They are where new stars and planets begin to form. Going into interstellar space means exploring much more than just an empty area. It means diving into the basic activities that make the universe grow and change. This space, which we call the interstellar medium, is where clouds of molecules come together to form new stars. This process of stars forming, living, and eventually dying has been going on for billions of years. It adds different elements to the interstellar medium, making it possible for new stars to have planets some of which might even support life. As humanity has ventured into the vast and mysterious realms beyond our own planet, we have faced many hurdles and stumbled upon unexpected wonders. Among these discoveries stands Oumuamua, a unique object that marks the first confirmed visitor from a different star system to ours. This intriguing find was made on October 19, 2017, by the Pan Stars 1 telescope located in Hawaii, which operates with the support of NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations Program. The name Oumuamua, which translates to a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian, aptly describes this unusual cigar-shaped figure with a reddish color. This coloring hints at a composition that could include rocks and metals, but lacks water or ice. Over millions of years, Oumuamua's surface has been tinted by cosmic rays. The object is quite long, stretching up to a quarter of a mile 
or 400 meters, and is more slender than any asteroid or comet we have seen before within our solar system. Its unusual shape, combined with how it tumbles through space instead of spinning, and its considerable changes in brightness, clearly shows that Oumuamua is unlike any other space object we've encountered. When it comes to its journey and velocity, Oumuamua is moving at an impressive speed of about 85,700 miles per hour relative to the sun. This speed and its path suggest that it has been drifting alone through the Milky Way, unbound to any star, for hundreds of millions of years before it accidentally came across our solar system. It seems to have come from the vicinity of the star Vega in the Lyra constellation. Yet, because of its long time traveling, Vega wasn't in the same spot 300,000 years ago as when Oumuamua passed by. Objects like Oumuamua are thought to visit the inner part of our solar system about once every year, but they are so dim that spotting them is quite challenging. The discovery of Oumuamua highlights how far we've come in detecting such fleeting celestial visitors. Interestingly, despite coming very close to the sun, Oumuamua did not display any coma, which is a cloud-like envelope that typically surrounds comets suggesting it is not an ordinary comet. Moreover, it showed signs of acceleration that couldn't be explained just by gravity, possibly caused by gas emissions or pressure from solar radiation, adding to its enigmatic nature. Although Oumuamua spins at a rate similar to asteroids in our solar system, its extraordinary elongation is something we've never seen before, sparking various theories about its origins. Its pattern of light and movement indicates it is tumbling through space rather than spinning, and its high velocity relative to the sun confirms it came from beyond our solar system. The exact age and origin of Oumuamua's planetary system are still unknown, with speculations ranging from a broken-up rogue comet to a piece of an exoplanet rich in nitrogen ice akin to Pluto. By July 2019, the consensus among astronomers was that Oumuamua is a natural object though its precise nature continues to be a subject of lively debate. The encounter with Oumuamua has not just offered us a peek into the makeup and behavior of objects from interstellar space, but has also ignited conversations about the importance of future missions to study these objects more intimately. One proposed mission, known as Project Lyra, envisions sending a spacecraft to pursue Oumuamua for a direct examination. This mission, would take an ambitious 26 years to reach the object from Earth. Such a forward-thinking proposal underscores our enduring fascination and determination to delve deeper into the universe's secrets, pushing us to explore further into the unknown reaches of interstellar space. Voyager 1's journey teaches us about space. Scientists are learning from it to plan new adventures. What's next? Share your thoughts on exploring the stars in the future. Like and subscribe for more space videos.